Hey, what's going guys? Kutos here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an economy and set up shop for GTX Gaming. This works similar to other game hosting providers that include a MySQL server. The control panel may be different, but as long as you have a MySQL server and a way to edit your files, you're good to go. To start off, we're going to install Rocket Mod and MySQL Server. Click on the Mod Manager and install Rocket Mod and the MySQL database if you haven't already. Now, once you're done, optionally you can install PHP My Admin. I'm going to show you later on in the video on how to manage your MySQL database using PHP My Admin, or if you have High SQL installed, you can use that as well. For now, we're going to go back and start by installing our plugins. So GTS Gaming allows you to install plugins just by going to the plugin downloader and typing in the plugin name. Now to find the plugin name, you can copy the economy link right here and paste it in. Click the confirmation and execute. Once the economy plugin is downloaded, you can go to Zap Shop and copy the Zap Shop link paste it in and execute. Once Zap Shop has been downloaded, you can close out of it and we're going to restart our server. Now once the server has been restarted, we're going to edit our economy and Zap Shop configuration files. Now you can use whatever file manager you choose. You can use either FTP or the built-in file manager. So we're going to open the file manager, click on servers, GTS Gaming, Rocket, Plugins, and you should see the economy and Zap Shop folders. Now click on economy, and economy configuration, you want to edit it. Now to find your MySQL database information, you can go back to the control panel, and here you can see database login information. Click on it, execute the script, and you should see your database IP address, name, user, and password. Now what you want to do is copy the database IP address, paste it into database address in the economy configuration, for database username, copy it down, paste it into the database username field. For password, copy and paste it in. For database name, copy the database name. And we can leave all these by default. You can also change the initial balance and money name as well. Click save. Once we are done, you can also go to the Zalt shop configuration edit the file and change any true or false values. You don't need to change the table names as they can be left as default. So since we didn't change anything, we're going to go back and we're going to restart our server again. Once the server has been restarted, we're going to now manage our MySQL database and tables. So in this tutorial, I'm using Hydea SQL. Later on, I'll show you how to use PHP My Admin. So open up Hadia SQL if you haven't already installed it. Click on new. Now for hostname and IP, you want to click on the database login information again and just copy and paste the corresponding information provided. So hostname and IP, the username and the password. The port is left at default by 3306. So click open, you can also save it. And now the MySQL database should open up and you are connected. So click on the unturn 50278 or whatever your database name is. And now you should see economy, which is generated by the economy plugin and economy item shop and economy vehicle shop, which is generated by Zalp shop. So by click, double clicking on economy, you should open up the economy table tab and you can click on data and you can manage all the records from the economy here. Same applies for economy item shop as well and vehicle shop. Now optionally you can use unturned economy utility which is made by Freenex 
which allows you to easily add shop items. Now to connect to the MySQL database, go back to the tab where it shows our database log information and you can just copy the values in. Open up the Unturned Economy Utility, click on connect. In the host field, paste the IP in, port is 3306, the user will just paste that in, password, and the database. And we can leave these two by default. And you can also save your MySQL information if you want. Now click on connect and it should successfully connect. Now to add items, for example, work genes, just add a buy value and you can also add a sell value. Click on the work genes and click add. Once it's added, you'll it also update the information in HiDSQL. So in the economy item shop, go to the data tab and click refresh. Now you can see that work genes has been added. Now we're going to add our permissions for self shop and economy. So go to the service folder into GTS gaming rocket and permissions.config edit the file and you should be brought to the permissions.config. Now under the default group, which is what we're going to add for the permissions. So I'll copy and paste a bunch of permissions down. And we're going to add the permissions. So we're going to add buy, sell, cost. Now for the economy permissions, pay, balance, and that's it. So we're going to save it. Once we have saved it, go back to the main control panel menu and restart our server. Now I'm going to join my server and demonstrate the commands. Once you have joined the server, start by typing slash p and you should see your permissions. Now we're going to type slash balance and as you can see we currently have 30 credits which is set by default in the economy configuration. Now we're going to type slash cost work jeans and as you can see work jeans cost 100 credits and sells for 0.10 credits. Now since we don't have enough money, we're going to go to the Hydea School, click on the Economy tab, and in the Data section, we should see our Steam ID and our balance. So we're going to update this to have enough money. Click Enter and then just click Out. And our balance should be updated automatically. As you can see, 100 credits, and when we type slash Buy, Work Chains, as you can see, I've bought one work chains for 100 credits. And we can also sell by typing slash sell work chains. And we have sold it for 10.10 .10 credits. Now this is optional. If you don't want to use Hydea Squirrel, you can also use phpMyAdmin. So go to the mod manager, install phpMyAdmin. Now once phpMyAdmin has been installed, go back to our control panel. And you should see a new link phpMyAdmin, click on it, and you should open a new tab. Once phpMyAdmin has been loaded, we're going to use the username and password which was provided in the database login information. So copy the username, and copy the password, click go. And as you can see, we have successfully logged in, and on the side here you should see unturned. 5027 or whatever your database name is. Click on it and you can see the same economy item shop and vehicle shop tables. Click on it again and you can see the data for which you can update and also delete and edit copy. Now that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if it helped and I'll catch you guys later.